What is the allostatic load, and why you should care? We all experience stress. It's part of life. It has always been part of life for humans across all of our history. In the old days, and I mean the old, old days, stress was good. Think about it. Here you were headed across the Serengeti or somewhere, and out jumped a saber-toothed tiger or something, and bang! Your body jolts you into action with stress hormones. Suddenly, because of them, you're alert, fast, and strong, and able to either fight or run. By the way, that's called the fight-or-flight response. Either way, the stress was good. When the threat was gone, the stress was gone too, and your body returned to normal, and you could relax. Okay, so fast forward a few millennia, and here we are with the same bodies as in the old, old days, but with a very different type of life. Stress for us can be almost constant, and the stress hormones can be constantly pumping. Our jobs, our kids, our finances, our elderly parents, even the f***ing traffic can be sources of stress, and they never even seem to stop. So that's two kinds of stress. The burst of stress, followed by a return to normal like in the old, old days, is acute stress. The never-ending kind that many of us live with now is called chronic stress. Chronic stress is bad. It hurts us. It makes us sick. It shortens our lives. Experts say that 80% of all sickness may be related to chronic stress. 80%. So, all a static load. That's a measurement of how stress impacts each of us. It's a very useful measurement, because it not only tells us what our health situation is like today, but it allows us to predict, very accurately, what our health will be in three to five years. The higher our allostatic load, the more damage stress is doing, the more we need to be concerned. So, there's the bad news. Stress is with us all the time, and a lot of it we frankly can't control. But here's the good news. There's also a lot that each of us can do to control stress and lower our allostatic load. Simple stuff, like eating right and sleeping enough, and some not-so-simple steps. The first step to wellness is knowledge. And now, you have the knowledge of what allostatic load is. In future courses, we'll get into detail about how we can change what we do to lower our load, and how the allostatic load is measured.